We are now at the Jennings residence. They've asked me to come in and help them with the lighting of their house. Right now, the outside lighting, not so much going on, but we have a little bit that we can do. There's no place we can go but up, and that's what we're gonna do. So if you look behind me, you're gonna see that there are flags. What I have done is to show where we're gonna indicate light fixtures are going to go. This is all gonna be low voltage. There's not gonna be a lot of power being drawn, but it's gonna make a whole difference in how we get sort of what you would call uh, your street presence. We don't have anything right now. We just have the one big old pagoda light there that just says, ow! So as we go up, you're gonna see two types of fixtures. One goes straight up and down, and that is a pathway light. Then you're gonna see some that are bent, like this one here, that means that's a directional light fixture. So when the Jennings have parties, people park down along here and along the other side, and they start from here. So it was in total darkness before we got to this light. So what we want is for these path lights to go up these stairs. And any place that you have a change in elevation, this is where you need that light. Any flat areas, you do not need much light at all because they just unconsciously know how to go. So these are what we might call uh, mushroom lights or directional lights that just throw light down. They don't have any decorative element to them. So they will virtually disappear really during the day and at night, but they will create these little pools of illumination that draw you up to the front of the house. This tree here, dogwood, lit from both sides, cross illuminate to light that. We're doing the same thing on the other side. As we come up the stairs, come on up. We have another directional fixture here hitting this. So we're starting to get some center median lighting. We have low level lighting, median lighting, and then eventually we're gonna have lighting that goes way up into these trees. So we have some visual verticality to the property. That's gonna happen in the front and in the back. So as we go along the pathway here, you can see we've now spread them way out because we have just an even row. Now, one of the things that I suggested to them is that on either side, we do a planting bed because compared to the house, this pathway looks a little bit narrow. And by having a pathway that continues on, using the hosta, something that's already continuous in the landscape design, that gives us a little bit of visual width to the pathway there. So this guy here is this one. I'm sorry, this is the one that's lighting up this tree here. So it's going to go up the trunk into the canopy of foliage. Please walk this way. Once again, we have a change in elevation right here. Very important. We have the little solar lights. Not so great. First generation. They'll get better. But right now we want to have something a little bit more permanent in the space. One of the things I was thinking about was the, the lawnmower that goes around. So I'm trying to keep these fixtures out of the grassy area. So that's one of the reasons to have this planting area along here. It wouldn't be in the mow pattern. The one that's going to be lighting the ginkgo, one that has to go out into the grassy area, I put it right behind the base of the tree so it won't be seen. There is another one at the base of the ginkgo tree. And then if you'll see in the far hedge area, there's another one pointing back towards the ginkgo. And then there is also one at the bottom of the stairs off of the eating outside eating area pointing up towards the ginkgo too. This is probably your, your most beautiful tree, especially when it changes colors in the seasons. And so we want to get that from uh, these various angles to really show it off because that's your, that is your tall middle foreground uh, planting area. On this side, we just have one here and one at the end of the planter bed that's going to be lighting this canopy of foliage up here. Uh, it really is going to make a gentle, uh, persuasive uh, sense of these people know what they're doing. It's, the lighting is going to be subtle. It's not going to be showy, but it is going to get people safely from one place to the other, but also add a lot of depth and dimension to the front of the property and the back of the property so you get the full width of the feeling of the front and the back together. Up here, right now, there is, Can you pick there's just, there is just one down light and very harsh light. It does get light out here. We would want to do it so that it dims down so it could be a glow, 
but definitely we want to have a pair of sconces on either side here to give some visual width to the front door because it really deserves it. And luckily we have two closets on the other side. So it is very easy to get the wiring to that location. Now carrying that theme down, I would really love to see another sconce over here so that we're start getting some of that decorative lighting spreading out. Now we do have cabinetry on the other side, so I do think that there, it'll be a little bit more work to get that there, but I think with a little bit of uh, ingenuity on the way of the electrician, I think that could really happen and, and make a nice thing. I've also, on the back side of these two plinths, I do have one little up light that's giving us a little bit of light to pick up the texture of the brick on this side. You'll also see that there are two fixtures. One is here and one is on the opposite side. This is projecting light down onto this planting area, which just falls into darkness at night. I originally was thinking it would be under here, but I couldn't get the angle. So we're going to have it here, but the fixture itself, it's tiny. It's, it's smaller than a frozen orange juice can. You remember what those look like, right? Okay. So as we go along the side here, we just have a little bit more to finish off the front yard. We have three pathway lights here to get people safely from this parking area and the owners of the home from their car to the front door. Uh, I do want to see a light inside the tree here that's going to project the light down into this space. And uh, we would like to have one light pointing up into here. But the difference between the fixture that they're using now and the fixture that I'm recommending is that the lamp itself, the bulb is way down deep and there is a cowl or a snoot that keeps you from seeing that light as you're passing by. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go into the backyard. So let's go.